Well, hello everybody. This is Stan again here in Puerto Vallarta with your weekly video fishing report. And uh, I know it's been a while since I posted one, but uh, trying to find time to get in front of this computer sometimes gets a little difficult. Right now, we've had uh, some interesting things happen. You know, for the last couple of weeks, we've been seeing, uh, well, two weeks ago, we saw a hurricane go by. I think we did a video report about that. Two weeks, a hurricane went by and it pushed a lot of fish in the area, and things got pretty good for a while there. But then we started getting rain, and we got more rain, and then we got even more rain, and filled the bay full of dirty water. It's, it's copper colored color water. We went all the way out to Corbettania, about four miles before Corbettania, which is 35 miles out there. The whole point of Punta de Mita was just in, in coffee water, it's just green, dirty water. And until you got down to just near Los Arcos in the bay, the water was all dirty, but even then it was only this clean green, it's kind of a cooler green water, but for fish it's uh, preferable to the dirty water. So that's kind of like what we were dealing with. My article that I wrote just the other day was talking about all of that stuff, how it would probably be better off for you to wait for a couple of days before you went out, and I put an update on that on the webpage. But Right now what we're seeing is we're seeing a lot of ups and downs and the article I wrote last week about the bait buffet and that, that situation is still out there. I mean there were millions of these trigger fish, baby little bait trigger fish and everything but its brother was stuffing themselves on that stuff. And then you had at least 10 other baits on the red runner, I mean rainbow runners, green runners, blue runners, flying fish, sardines, goggle eyes, I mean I, I can just make a whole list out there for you. And uh, it was kind of hard to get a fish to turn his head. And if he did get something, he cut it open. It was just full of all the local bait fish down there. It was absolutely crazy. So that made it real challenging. And while that that was all going on out in, say, maybe an eight-hour area, if you went down to the south end of the bay, which nobody, nobody pays attention to the south end of the bay. It's all ignored in the south end of the bay. And when you get out around the corner of Cabo Car Corrientes, yeah, it's the opposite end of the Punta de Mita side. You get around Cabo Corrientes over there, they got a lot of structure there, a lot of rocks, they got a lot of a lot of structure, right? And then they got sandy beaches, and that's very good for rooster fish over there. And in fact, I sent some people over there last week, and they got five or six of them, and uh, there is Dorado over there, there are trash lines over there. It's kind of like the ignored part of the bay. But everything else is in dire straits. Basically, you know you're not going to catch anything, so you don't want to spend the money, but... You know, guy, you know, you really like to go fishing kind of thing. Well, that's where you want to go. You want to go down that way. And it's the ignored portion of the bay because everybody just knows about, you know, they'll head down, down the Alapa. They usually don't go much farther north than that. And, uh, you know, Corbettay to the bank and put the meat up. Those, those places are all kind of in the same direction in the Jane Mineral. But, you know, they go out in that other direction. There's That's just that. It's not happening out there. You don't have too many other options, you know, not like you do heading out in the direction. So I can understand why that happens, but there's a lot of guys over there in that part of the, uh, you know, Cabo Corrientes, El Faro, Yalapa kind of area that are just uh, wonderful fishermen and the local guys know their stuff over there. I got a couple guys over there I can turn you on to if you want to know. So let's get back to the fishing. Fishing in Corbettania right now, um, you know, you got some sailfish out there. You might see some striped marlin. The Dorado been pretty plentiful. They're running 15 pounds, you know. it's. It's nothing real exciting out there. Too much bait. Haven't seen the yellowfin too. They could be out there right now. The water got blue again. But uh, right now, 35 miles out there wasn't the most exciting thing. But of course, by the time you see this video, everything will change. So uh, always make sure you contact us. But for right now, yeah, I wouldn't be too excited about Corbettania. The, uh, the the whole area around Putinbita and Omoro, that was just full of dirty water. And it was kind of hard to do anything. Normally, if you find any kind of debris in the water, there'll be Dorado around that. So if there is dirty water, you can kind of, you know, toss something at them. But there's so much debris out there that you, you, you it's just too much. You, you don't know. And there's no fish around all of it, you know. And so the lone, the lone ranger out there is like it's all the kitchen. So that's kind of like what's going on. Uh, the last couple of days, that all changed. You know, folks went up in Punta de Mita. Uh, we had some folks out there went out there and caught a Dorado. And sell fish the other day in an eight hour trip, and uh, they were good sized Dorado, uh, 15 to about 25 pounds. Then um, the folks that have been heading out to the south end of the bay, believe it or not, inside the bay, they, they've been doing a lot better sometimes than they do out there in eight hours because we have a channel that runs all the way out to Corbettania. That channel has a current that comes right down the thing, and you got all the bait inside this. So they just, just kind of ride the current, you know, it's like riding a roller coaster, it brings a ride to the bay. So next thing you know, you've got all kinds of bay in the bay, I'm sorry, bay in the bay, bay in the bay, 
and you've got sailfish that strike bottom of the bay. Now you're like, well, how's this happening? Well, it, it, it's happening. And, you know, to me, it's not natural, it's not normal, but it's happening, and there you go. That's what you got. So, right now, we're suggesting six hours is a very good trip. Uh, you're going to catch Toronto, and you're going to be in the south of the bay. Might even see a sailfish down there. Eight hours, Toronto, sailfish. Uh, but if you want to go a little bit longer, maybe down the south end, down on Pablo Corrientes, we can pick you up. They've been seeing the rooster fish down there. Rooster fish like the rainy season, all right? Many get rain, things like that. They get a lot of fresh water. They really like that agua dulce. If they're if you're around a river or something, which aren't too many at that part down there, uh, they'll be around those too. But in Cabo Corrientes with the structure and the bay and uh, the perfect fishing conditions for them, right now, you're, you're more likely than not to catch anything, so uh, don't be afraid to ask for that. Uh, everything is still the same down here as far as COVID. We haven't had any major upsets. Uh, if you're in the Jalisco, state of Jalisco, you don't have to wear a mask. If you are in the state of Nayarit, you do. And uh, there's a good chance you're staying in Nayarit at the hotels and stuff like that. So you might want to think about staying in Puerto Vallarta. And while you're there, make sure you come by and visit us in Marina Vallarta. You can always, uh, uh, you know, check a local map, ask some people. A lot of people don't know about us. That's the funny thing. But Marina Vallarta is here at Restaurant Row. You love it. And of course, uh, as always, if you have any questions about anything going on down here, give me a call. The bite's still happening around uh, 8.45, 9 o'clock. And, you know, when you're going out there and you're running bait, a lot of times when you have too much bait, running dead bait and lures can work. They, they, they just think it's a dead bait or it's a wounded bait or something. They'll just take it. So don't be, a, don't be afraid to try something that seems kind of stupid out there. And uh, on top of all that, well, I guess that's about it for now. The weather's good. There's no real hurricanes, no real smooth seas. Oh, we got the tournament coming up here pretty soon. It's October 9th through the 12th. And uh, we've got a whole bunch of boats available. We'll give you some good prices on them. We just like to be in the game. And uh, if you're interested, just give me a call. We've got a couple of boats in it already. But uh, it's, a, it's a local fishing tournament here in Marina Vallarta. So it's kind of fun. It's happening here. And I like it. So there you go. So anyway, this is Stan Puerto Vallarta saying thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. You can like the video. You can Whatever you can do to the video that makes it good for me, just go ahead and do it. And uh, I, I've got probably about 60 people that actually watch these every week, so which is kind of fun and kind of underground. But I am still the only real source of information when it comes to fishing down here, and I give it to you as straight as I can. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Until next week, don't forget to catch your fish, and uh, we'll see you next week. That's the way. Cool. Did you get that one?